scene designers, we don't just draw and paint. We have to know how to read a play. We have to know how to analyze it. We have to be articulate. We have to know how to speak to other people and collaborate. We have to know uh, when to be generous and take somebody else's point of view, but we also have to know when uh, our integrity is on the line and when we really need to fight for our ideas. Thinking about how I became an artist, um, probably the biggest influence is my family and my parents, which is interesting because neither of them is an artist in any way, but they really encouraged me to do things that interested me. Um, I started designing sets when I was 15 or 16, which is probably pretty unusual for anybody. And my parents really supported it. My father loved the idea that I was making things and using skills that he had taught me. Branches, we've got branches, we've got flowers. Being an artist is hard. And when you first are one, when you become one, when you decide that moment you're gonna be an artist, you're probably not gonna be very good at it because it requires a lot of skill and experience. And it's hard. And so I would say generosity to self and allowing yourself to suck, <laughs> to not be that great, because you will be one day. You do it by doing it every day and being really committed to yourself and the process.